Guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading, bonus love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your May, rest of your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Luna signs. We are going to take a look and see uh, the person that you are in no contact with, if it's a good idea for you guys to reach out to this individual, and then we'll finish off the reading to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. I'm going to go live. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. So, Cancer. Cancer, the person that Cancer is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Cancer to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with? For the rest of May 2024, suddenly rising Venus signs for Cancer. Nine of Cups and a Ten of Swords. Seems like we have some here that's coming in with an apology here, Cancer. Could be dealing with another, another water sign here with the Nine of Cups. Um, we also have the Page of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, and the Six of Wands here. I do feel like, if anything, I feel like this person will reach out to you. Yeah, you, you just know that this person's coming back. You just have that sixth sense that this person's coming back around. Yeah, you could feel it. You can feel it here. Yeah, and they feel like they will come back and try and reach out to you. Uh, because I feel like this person is offering you some sort of commitment here. Higher levels of commitment. This person is also checking up on you to see if you're in a, another relationship with somebody else. I feel like one of the betrayals is that this person was committed to you, said that they were committed to you, and they were talking to other people on those dating apps, okay? Here's the thing. I feel like another thing that I found, like that, that I'm catching here, is that I feel like you found this person on those dating apps or hookup apps that are of the same sex. You know, perhaps your person could be bisexual, and this person could have hid it, hid it from you, and that was the betrayal here. The uh, Page of Cups in the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come back around and work things out here with you with the Six of Wands here and the Two of Cups. Yeah, they want to work things out and fix this relationship. I mean, that's if you're you're on board here, Cancer. Uh, you know, like, you know, even though if this reading could resonate with you, you know, at the end of the day, you have free will to choose what you want to do here. That's right, right for you, right? So we have the High Priestess in the Knight of Swords, Sleeper, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, you just have that, you just have that sixth sense that this person is rushing back and coming back around here. The Six of Cups and the Three of Cups here. They're looking for a reconciliation. Yeah, I feel like you're, you might even be having dreams about this person coming back around, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is more so what this person wants. What you want... I feel like you don't want to waste any more time on, you know, people that confused you. And I feel like that's what this person did, okay? So, uh, Cancer. What else do we have for Cancer? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Cancer and the person that they are in no contact with? For the rest of their May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer, for Cancer. We have the Chariot and the Seven of Wands. Chariot, Cancer Energy, Seven of Wands here. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. And the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. This person is not trustworthy at all. I feel like you're that Nine of Pentacles trying to block this person. 
you know, trying to draw the line in the sand with this person, trying to have boundaries with this person here. And I feel like right now at this very moment here, Cancer, when it comes to relationships, I feel like you just rather be alone. Yeah, you just rather be alone right now and just focus on you. Uh, the chariot, the chariot. Oh, seven of pentacles. Like I said, you don't want to waste any time on this individual. You don't want to waste any more time on people from your past here. The seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? The uh, six of pentacles. Yeah, when it comes to a situation, when it comes to this person here, Cancer, you don't have anything to give. Yeah, you don't have anything to offer anymore. You've completely closed yourself off to this individual here. You know, you have distanced yourself from this individual. And it's so interesting. There's a bit of a finality here. Look at this person closing the laptop here, you know? So I feel like you're completely disconnecting yourself from this individual and you just don't want to communicate with this person here, Cancer. Ten of Wands and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. You're finding this person or you're finding this relationship as if as if it was a burden you know with the ten of wands here i just feel like you're letting all the you're, you're letting this go you're letting all the pain and the hurt and the suffering that you've experienced with this individual you're letting it go here you know you're healing yeah you, you're making progress on your healing journey here this is something that you don't want to go back to you could be a situation that you're dealing with karmic here and i do feel like this person hit a secret here from you remember i was saying that you could have found out that this person was on, you know, those uh, dating apps and hookup apps of the same sex here. I do feel like this person could be, you know, gay or bisexual, okay? So the Sun of Swords here and the Two of Swords. This person's really confused about their uh, sexuality here. Yeah, they're really confused. And I feel like this person feels like if they came back to you, they feel like they don't have to deal with their problem here or their secret. You know, I feel like this person's definitely trying to push it away or force it away here. So, you know, I feel like this person's also, another, another thing is that, you know, they're not living life to, uh, true, to who they, true to who they are. Yeah, they're pushing that away. Mm. You know, I kind of feel bad for this person. It's not an easy thing to deal with, especially like, you know, once you get to, you know, you know, because, you know, one, you know, one of the things, you know, people kind of like, you know, is worried, you know, about judgment from people, you know, you know, focusing on your people or just really just uh, kind of like uh, fixated on doing societal norms, you, you, you know, and I feel like this person's struggling with that. Yeah. But also, it's not your problem here, too. Especially if this person has hurt you. I mean, I feel like if this person was honest in the very beginning, you could have kind of, like, supported this person in a way. But you don't want to do that. So, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.